start. Yeah. This is Hilot from the Philippines. We usually give this to young kids because we believe that if you continue to give them touch therapy, they will, of course, grow up very confident and you know, they, they will know that their parents are there. So when I was a little kid, my mother would always give me this when I wake up and before going to bed. So the principle is just to give soft kind of rubbing um, strokes. And it's not really the, it, the difference between Filipino massage and probably Thai massage. Thai massage is usually for relaxing purposes and this is usually for healing. We give this to kids whenever they have fever or sore throat and it usually does the job. It doesn't have to be the hands. Sometimes we do this to the knees up to the feet. But what my, my mother would usually give me at night is a back rub. Really good back rub. Feet is relaxing? Extremely. There are pressure points in the palm. That's why even if you just massage the hand, it feels like the whole body is getting refreshed. Better with oil. So again, you start with um, loosening the joints because if you start with the whole massage, sometimes the body gets shocked by it, especially when you get hard massages. Is this popular in different parts of the Philippines? Oh yes, Hilot, we have different styles, but it's, it's this, the principle is the same, it's touch therapy. And I talked to Sophia, so they're going to take written, written data. So we've got a plan, and we've got enough to play it out. Cool. You're passionate about passionate. Are you all the way back? Yes. Good to hear. You've got that smile. Shake it a little. And you relax. Last night we gave Chinese tea, but.